Hello beautiful manifestors, it is Olivia Grace and I'm back with another video for you guys. And today I'm sharing with you guys uh, my experience, my takeaways of doing the Vipassana meditation. I so hope I'm saying that right. I, would, I meant to check and see how exactly I'm supposed to pronounce that, but I'm guessing that is how it is. Um, the Vipassana meditation, it actually means insight or clear special seeing. Um, and I did it for 30 days because that's what the person that was leading the meditation suggested to try it for at least 30 days, 15 minutes a day. And so, yeah, I am going to be reviewing that for you guys today. Um, but before I hop into that, I am about to start making videos in this way. So I'm about to do challenge videos and I would love to hear what you guys would like to see. I would love to hear about what techniques, meditations, anything high vibe having to do with spirituality or meditation or manifestation. I am up to it. Um, I already have like a quite a few that I want to do myself. So if you guys know any that you guys want me to do let me know in the comments um, but let's get started with this vipassana meditation so as i said before it means vipassana means insight um, and so how you actually do the meditation is you just observe your breath um, and you find a way to anchor to your breath so either using like in through your nose the sensation of that the rising and falling of your chest or your stomach um, and of course your mind wanders so when your mind does wander you are supposed to identify what made it wander was it a thought a feeling like a sensation or a sound um, and then as quickly as you can get back to um, grounding yourself in the vipassana meditation of observing your breath um, and I kind of took it a step further as I started doing it. I noticed that I have kind of the same kinds of thoughts. Um, like I noticed that either my thoughts were me planning for the future or me thinking about things that had happened in the past. Um, and so I would just kind of note that as well while I was meditating that, OK, not only was it a thought that brought me away from the present moment, but the thought that I was thinking was either me planning for the future, wanting to manifest something, planning for my day ahead, something like that. Or it was me thinking about, I don't know, maybe a fight I had with someone or um, something that had happened in the past. Usually, honestly, if I was thinking about the past, it was something negative that I was thinking, maybe like suppressed emotions or something like that. Um, and then bringing it back to the breath. So overall, it was really interesting to me. I. It, like I said, like I noticed that I kept thinking the same thoughts. I swear there was probably only about between 10 and 20 thoughts that um, I continuously kept coming to every time I sat to meditate. And for me, that was helpful because it let me know what's kind of going on in my subconscious mind, what's kind of going on in the back of my mind that I'm not even really aware of. Um, and it was it was interesting to me just to see, wow, I don't there's not really much variety here. I mean, it's really the same things, um, especially with me thinking of the past a lot and thinking of maybe arguments I had with people or things that were unsettling with me um, that I'd had. It helped me kind of deal with those emotions and even track down, OK, what is this? What is the common feeling that's coming from all of these past hurts? Um, and as far as thinking of the future, which is what I did most of the time, um, I didn't really get distracted by sounds. I've been meditating for quite a while, so I kind of know how to stay in my meditation um, throughout there being sounds um, and sensations. Same thing. I've kind of um, I'm really good at basically mastering still and staying in my meditative state even if I'm getting an itch or uh, whatever so sensations didn't really um, take me out of the meditation it was always pretty much thoughts and most of those thoughts being of the future um, so but when I did enter the present moment which this does help you do as well um, that's one of my other insights is that you know, it, that medi the meditation does help you stay in the present, kind of ground in the present. Um, and the present moment for me, you guys, it's just complete bliss. It's complete euphoria. It's, you know, there's almost no sense of your physical body. Um, you really just kind of feel yourself as being. I don't really know, or consciousness, I don't know how to explain it other than that. There's really no words to explain it. 
um, because words come from a physical experience and what you experience when you're literally in the moment is not really physical. So you can't really explain that with physical words. Um, but it is pure bliss, you guys. It and. I, I wouldn't say that that was unique to this meditation though. Um, of course, this meditation, like I said, helps you focus on being present and help you focus on being in the moment. Um, that's literally like the purpose of the meditation. But I do feel that pretty much with most meditations that I do, if it's a really good one. Um, I wrote things down so I don't forget anything, you guys. So yes, um, the last thing that I noticed for me was by the time like the end of the meditation when i was getting to the last few days of it it was actually harder for me to control my mind than it was in the beginning and i'm not really sure why that is um to be honest it could be because i was kind of i was kind of over it at that point um which is why i won't be continuously doing this i mean it's definitely a great meditation to do and i would recommend it to advanced meditators if you're a beginner meditator it might i always i always recommend like guided meditations for people that are beginners um when you're meditating in literally just strict silence and really just trying to guide your thoughts and guide everything by yourself it can be kind of difficult um, so, but if you're an advanced meditator, you've been meditating for years, I would recommend it just to try and just see if you like it. Um, I did feel like my vibration raised. I did feel kind of a pressure off of me when I was doing that because a lot of times like meditation is supposed to be a time of rest. It's supposed to be a time of literally doing nothing. Um, but what I find when I'm meditating is usually I'm trying to visualize something or I'm trying to, um, you know, clear this or cleanse that or raise the vibration or do this. And I'm still doing what I'm supposed to just be being. Um, so that meditation was really good for just being completely like just being nothing, not being anything else just being period and just sitting and really just grounding into the now um, it was really great for that but me personally I find that I benefit more um, from guided meditations or just being able to do my own thing I really like to be able to switch it up when I can um, which is why the challenges that I'm going to be doing are going to be for seven days not 30 days I just happen to have done this and I wanted to share my experience with you guys um, so yeah, if you guys are interested, it's called a Vipassana meditation. It is in, um, it's on YouTube for free. They have a 15 minute version and a 30 minute version. I can actually link it in the description for you guys if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, if you are looking to get more into the present, more into the now, then it will definitely be of help for you. Um, but if you are a beginner, I would say stick to the guided meditations for now. Um, but other than that, if you guys have any challenges that you want me to try, please put them in the uh, comments. Like I said, I have quite a few, so I'll be coming out with them anyway. But other than that, you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you in the next video.